Hello! How are we today? Now, it's another big mess test again today. And um, what inspired me to do one of these today? In particular, this machine today, which is the good old Miller S7, is that uh, I was on YouTube as I normally am, and uh, earlier on today, and I was looking through my subscriptions list of uh, all things vacuum cleaner. And who should pop up on my subscriptions list but the old uh, Rusty Skull? And I thought, my goodness me, Rusty Skull Productions? Who on earth Rusty Skull Productions? I haven't seen a vacuum cleaner video from him for quite some time. I thought he'd given up on making vacuum cleaners and he was, he was all about motorbikes now and engines and anything but vacuum cleaners. But there we go. A vacuum cleaner. And what vacuum cleaner was it? Well, it is an unboxing of a Miller, and it was actually this same model as this here. A Miller 7510, or um, now known as the U1 upright. These are. But uh, I don't do this model anymore, though, with all the fancy lights on the top. Because this, um, this one was a second to the top of the range. And the old rusty skull. Um, I'll tell you what made me laugh on his video today, though. He, uh, he started his video with this, uh, he was spraying, spraying something from his, uh, with, with cleaning solution. But it was, what he, it was what he was spraying it from that made me laugh. And I thought, you know, such a blokey, blokey bloke, Essex bloke, like Rusty Skull, as straight as a die, he's got a wife. Yeah, you know, I mean, no, I'm saying, Henry, from Essex, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've I got a wife and missus, I mean, yeah, straight as a die, mate. I'm just going to use my, my dildo here to, uh, to, to squeeze it out and make some stuff come. And I thought, Rusty Skull. That's the second time that dildo has appeared on your channel now, because the first time we saw it, it was a, few, a couple of months ago, in your toolbox. And I thought, what on earth is that doing in there? Are you trying to tell us something here, Rusty Skull? But, uh... I'll tell you what, you've got that vacuum cleaner for 30 quid, you've, you've absolutely nicked it off him, mate. You bloody well nicked it off him, mate. 30 bloody sobs for a vacuum cleaner, especially one of these. You have nicked it off him, mate. Absolutely robbed him blind. Now, I know it had a problem with the, uh, the little button on here, but um, I'd imagine you'd be able to fix that or sort it out or even find a second-hand one to fix it with. Because that's the sort of bloke you are, Rusty. You'll, uh, you'll, uh, you'll bodge it in Scarborough, won't you? So, what we'll do then is, uh, this, this video is dedicated to you, Mr. Rusty Skull. We've talked about the Arbasiac a lot lately, but we haven't really talked much about you, Rusty, have we? Because, uh, as I say, you don't make that many vacuum cleaners anymore. The, uh, the old Kirby's have stopped uh, featuring now. I think they must have been up in the loft and forgotten about. You really ought to make some more vacuum cleaners, Rusty, because uh, we do miss you. So, the big mess test. It's all down on the floor, and we're going to show Rusty what these are capable of, because I've got all my faith in one of these that it will pick all this up. I'm hoping, well, it better not prove me wrong anyway, because this is top quality German engineering. So as it's German, I thought, well, I'd better wear my Adidas today, because that's German as well, or supposed to be, even though they say made in China inside. And these trainers are Adidas, and they say made in China as well. So come on, Adidas, what are you playing at? First be German company, everything made in China. At least you make your cleaners in Germany at the moment. So I suppose everyone wants to see how, how well this goes, and they're probably thinking, no, oh, it'll never pick all that up up there. It'll get clogged up. It's too namby pamby, it's too posh. Posh and Nancy, you know, posh and sort of, oh, it'll never pick all that up. That's designed for rich people's homes with no dirt. Rich people have dirt. Mm, rich people, they, they might buy these, but they, they still have dirt. Anyway, let's get it plugged in and we'll fire it up and then I might take it in the kitchen afterwards and have a push round in there. And then we might take it in the front room afterwards and have a, have a push round in there, mate. I don't think there's much dirt left because the old Dyson, mate, the old Dyson. Now, a lot of Essex boys, they had Dysons, don't they, mate? Yeah. We've got to have the latest in technology. You've got to have a Dyson to be keeping up with the old Joneses next door. Know what I'm saying, mate? Anyway, that's enough of my 
try to uh, impersonate somebody from London, because I'm sure all the old Londoners might be watching and thinking, here, are you taking a piss out of the way we speak, mate? Yeah. So anyway. Just because Rusty Skulls from Essex don't make him a Cockney, does it? He's not a Londoner and he wouldn't want me called a Cockney, would you? No? Anyway. Enough of that. Let's go on to business. Let's go on to business. Let's show our Rusty Skull what the old Mealer S7 can do, eh? Now this, uh, this, big, this big mess test was what uh, clogged up the two cleaners the other day. It clogged all the, uh, the shroud up. This is a bags cleaner. And the bag in here is, um, it's not empty. There's about a third of it full, so when this goes in there, later on I shall be obviously uh, cutting that vacuum bag open and uh, removing the contents and adding it to my bag of filth so that the next big mess test will be even bigger than this one. Because like Roger does, he saves all his bags of filth up. So let's uh, angle it down. There we go. There we go. Will the mealer be able to cope with the big mess test? Can we angle it down anymore? Can we see? Without the camera tipping off the front of the tripod. Yeah, there we go. I think everyone can see all the big mess there. Let's 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 start then, shall we? So if I was you, I'd advise you to turn your headphones down now, although I think the camera has automatic volume control on it, so it'll reduce the sensitivity of the microphone once all this stuff starts going through. Let's go.
between those little bits and the fireplace. I've tried my best, but it wouldn't get about. Come on, don't let me down, will you? Right, so there we go. How about that? I had true faith in that that machine. We'd pick all that up. Even though we did have to have a helping hand out at the end of the hose, but... Let's have a look at the bag full indicator then, shall we? And see if that's clogged the bag. on maximum power and that bag full indicator is sort of a third of the way along so it's not completely full yet but we'll have a look inside the, uh, the bag housing oh yeah yes that bag now it's it's very heavy that's probably about two-thirds of the way up now oh yes that's nearly as full as Rusty Skull's bag I mean they really did uh, fill your bag, didn't they, Rusty? Uh, but it's not quite. This one's not quite as full as the one in your machine, because that was full to the top. You could have used that as a pillow on your bed, couldn't you, Rusty? Eh? Yeah. I thought you. I bet you opened that and thought, here, yeah, what bloody hell's going on here then? Sending me an old bloody full bag like this, like you know. I mean, you shouldn't be sending vacuum cleaners out to people with full bags, should you, Rusty? Eh? No, it's just terrible. Not good enough, is it, Rusty? Should have put your nice new bag in it, shouldn't they? Yeah. But anyway, how about that? You can rely on a mealer, can't you? Uh, you can rely on a mealer. Now, why isn't that closing up now? This bag is so full that the door won't close now. I might have to. Or am I going to have to change it? Close. Ah, that's better. There we go. But even with the even after sucking all that up, there was still loads of suction left on it to pick everything else up. So it's conclusive proof really that bags mealers now, they just don't clog. You can fill the bag right up to the top. It's not like the old Hoover Juniors of old. You can fill these right up. So, shall we have a clean round in the uh, kitchen as well, just to uh, have a bit more action with this cleaner? Shall we take it in there? If I do, I'll have to plug it in down here because the cable won't go into the bathroom so there we go then because I know people like seeing vacuum cleaning getting pushed around especially especially Dyson's people like seeing Dyson's being pushed around I think they like seeing Mailers being pushed around as well because they're, they're a quality machine as well But yes, Rusty, you really ought to uh, start bringing more vacuum cleaners out again as well, because we do miss you. We're not really into motorbikes very much, unfortunately. Uh, but I suppose you've got to cater for all your fans, haven't you? Because you've got a much, uh, a much wider sort of fan base than what uh, vacuum cleaner collectors have. But anyway, let's give it a push round on the old kitchen. <laughs>
a little bit soft of that carpet from the big mess test there. Say hello to the Dyson then. Grrr, it don't like Dysons. It don't like the Dyson. Let me at it, it says. Say hello to that one as well. Yeah. Oh, stupid camera focus. Excuse me a second, I really struggle with this tripod. I'm not like Roger, unfortunately. I haven't got all the latest um, tripods and gadgetry for filming with. Uh, that'll have to do, I think. I think we can focus on the room there, can't we? Yes, that'll do. You see, that happened because I didn't pull the hose out of this clip here, so it tipped over backwards. What I should have done was to do that, and then it wouldn't have done. So there we go. Even these do fall over backwards if you're not careful. I just felt like they were going to somewhere because the cat sits in front of them, so they should have made a bit of a mess.
I'm not even sure if the camera was pointing when I was doing that then. I don't think it was even was. Actually, no. Oh, what the hell. Let's just turn it back round again. I've, uh, I've done enough now. Let's bring it back in the, uh, in the back. So yeah, there's, um, there's the main rest 7 with the old big mess test there, and it uh, didn't let me down, and I knew it wouldn't do. So it had everything down there, it had the entire contents of that bucket that I put down the other day, my, uh, my box of filth, because it's very similar to Roger's bag of filth. And then this meter bag, which is, this will be the next bag of filth because that's pretty much what uh, it weighs. I wonder how much that actually weighs. I think that's probably about two, two, two and a half kilos, I'll bet, something like that. With all the, um, the ground stuff down here, all the oats and all the porridge and all the grit and everything else. That's quite heavy. But I bet it's not as heavy as yours, is it, Rusty? Because your, your, your bag and yours was, uh, was quite heavy. But they will last and last and last these bags. And I know they're about a tenner for four, but the end of the day, I mean, they, they just don't lose suction. Okay, after doing that big mess test, where the bagless, where the bagless ones needed all cleaning out, this just carried on merrily, loads of suction, didn't affect it at all, and the bag wasn't even empty to start with. So, you know, pe people might think, you know, oh, bags clogged, you don't want a bag, but modern meanless, they don't. Unless you were picking up loads and loads of ash and flour and very fine dust, You'd find it very difficult to clog one of these bags before it got full. So, really, people don't need to worry about bags clogging anymore. So, let's um, wind all the cable back in and then we can end the video, can't we? And I'm wondering whether Rusty could do a, a big mess test with his Dyson. Not Dyson, what I'm talking about. Is Mila. I've got Dyson's on the brain at the moment because I've been doing Dyson's the last few, uh, the last couple of weeks because I've had these two new Dyson's here. And as I said on the uh, on a video last night, I won't be doing a big mess test on the Dyson's because, for the simple reason being, they are under warranty. I have had to register the guarantee with them, and if anything was to go wrong with them, and I had to make a claim to Dyson and somebody who had been watching my channel and seeing me doing big mess tests with them and picking up all these sort of things that Dyson say that I shouldn't have been picking up, they could quite easily turn around to me and say, I'm sorry, Mr. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Mad About Hoovers, but your, your guarantee is invalidated because you didn't follow the instructions in the manual. And you were on YouTube putting all these things down on the floor and making them pick them up and calling it a big mess test. And now that your carbon fibre brushes are worn down on your floor, Ed, you want us to supply you a new one? Oh, well, I can guarantee they wouldn't. So those Dysons will be only strictly picking up what they're supposed to be picking up, and that is household dust. They'll be used for daily cleans, maybe cleaning up after another cleaner, and we'll feature them on other videos in the future, but I can't do what I've just done there with them, because that isn't under warranty anymore. That mailer, I've got true faith in that, that that'll pick anything up or throw down. It's not under warranty. If it breaks, it's my fault. But I can't have the Dysons breaking so soon on. I think that they pick everything up. I've got true confidence in them as well. It's just that I can't do a big message test on them like I've done. Yeah. But anyway, that is another, another superb vacuum cleaner there, and I really, really love using this. I know it's bagged, and I know it's heavy. Very heavy, in fact. Older people wouldn't get on with one of these. I wouldn't recommend them. I'm sure you wouldn't, would you, Rusty? You wouldn't recommend one of these to your old ma? No? I bet you wouldn't. She wouldn't be able to lift it up and down. My mother wouldn't be able to cope with it either. Because uh, I reckon this has got to be virtually 10 kilos, this machine. It's, it's really heavy. But then again, it's not the heaviest. Because as we know, the heaviest is one of them. And you certainly wouldn't want to recommend one of these to your grandma, would you? No, certainly not. The Kirby, very fantastic. In fact, we'll have to make a video of the Kirby again. Because uh, it's feeling a bit left out at the moment. And all these Dysons are here. They've stolen the limelight, if you know what I mean. And it's, it's back at the corner. But it's still down here. 
I still want it down here because I'm still using the Kirby. Except these are still in the limelight, and yes, they are under the limelight, just there, look, shining down. They do look nice and shiny in the light, you've got to admit. Yeah. So anyway, there we go. That, that's, that's all for today with this. I may do another video today. The, way, the rate I'm doing videos at the moment, I'm going to be burnt out. But it will have to level off. I'm not going to be able to keep up doing this many videos. Um, eventually I shall run out of stuff to do videos on. And then we're going to have to sort of uh, revert down to maybe one or two a week. Because um, I've had a lot of videos to catch up on. There's a lot up there that I need you to do videos on. And tests and various things. So... For some reason, I think next door's got a dog because I can hear a dog barking all the time. Uh, and she didn't have one of them yesterday, but she probably thinks, you know, him and his vacuum cleaners next door all the time. I'll get a big dog and I'll have it barking all day and see how he likes that. There we go. That's it. The alarm's going off. Time to say goodbye and set up the next uh, test or video. And we might do the uh, the Hoover Turbo Power. Um, bagless cylinder later on I think why not we haven't had that one on the channel before so until then I'll see you later bye for now and have a nice day to Rusty Skull